What's going on my people? It's your boy Yaz. Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are blessed and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Welcome to my channel. As I said, I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to keep uploading on my YouTube channel. As I always keep saying, it's time to grow, baby. Man, I was praying that I was wrong, but unfortunately I was right. I predicted Italy to win the Euros. If you look at my previous video with the Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier 3, I predicted England versus Italy to go 2-1 Italy. I was wrong on the scoreline, it was 1-1. Then it went to extra time, penalty shootout, man. Penalty shootout is always a 50-50. Penalty shootouts always comes out to who's got the biggest cojones. And unfortunately, it was in England. So it's not coming home, it's gone to Rome. This is the first time that England has actually gotten to a Euros final. So they should keep their head high. It's still a young squad and we got the World Cup next year to look forward to. I'm not saying we're going to win the World Cup, but it's good to be optimistic. So to all the players that missed the penalty, Rashford, Sancho and Saka, keep your head high. You know, you guys are still young, you've got your careers ahead of you and there's more competition. But this was the best time to actually bring it home. But it wasn't meant to be. Now it's time for my run. Let's get to the negative. England were on fire on the first half. Shaw scored a banger. I think that was the fastest Euro final goal in just under two minutes. Luke Shaw, what a goal. First half, England were on fire. And I always said this, don't underestimate the Italians. Don't sit back. One goal is never enough against Italy. They don't stop fighting until the final whistle. And a football match is 90 minutes, ain't 45 minutes. Italy were the better side that day. They were better in the second half and in the extra time. They 100% deserved the win. My blame goes to, to Southgate. Why the hell? Why the hell would you bring on two subs? They don't even have a kick of the ball just to take penalties. I'm no football expert. I love football. I do watch football. But it just doesn't make sense. Why the hell would you bring on two subs? in a Euros final to take penalties. Come on, it doesn't take a genius. Like They need to get the rhythm, they need to get the momentum, they need to feel the game. And you're giving them so much pressure to not even touch the ball and just to take the penalty. I don't know why Henderson was sopped off. He's a Liverpool captain. I think he should have took a penalty, for sure. And Luke Shaw was the player for England this tournament. Why didn't he take the penalty? The guy is booming in confidence, it's his birthday. You got Raheem Sterling as well. Why didn't he take a penalty? Jack Grealish, he was on the pitch. Why did he take a penalty? But then Jack Grealish tweeted this. So I don't blame him. If that's true, then you know it's the gaffer's fault. It's all down to Gareth Southgate. Why did he put on two subs just for two penalties? If they were going to be the original penalty takers, let them come on. Let them come on on extra time. After the 90 minutes, do your changes. Let them get half an hour running. Let them warm up. Or you know what? Take the game to Italy and try to get the win. Because you know Italy, when it comes to penalty shootouts, they're one of the best. And Italy have gone unbeaten, 34 matches unbeaten run. So you know what? The best team of the tournament, they actually deserve the win. They've been convincing. They've been the best team of the tournament. England, they were struggling at the start drew to Scotland, um, Ukraine, it was a decent game, Germany, but apart from that, they haven't been convincing. So well done to Italy, and this is why England does not deserve to win anything. As soon as Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho, and Saka missed the penalty, they've been getting a lot of racial abuse. Here, here, and here. Why? This is why we don't deserve to win anything. Why are they getting abused? So when they score, they're English, but when they miss, they're getting racially abused. This is why we don't deserve it and the best team won. So all the people that's been racially abusing Marcus Rashford, don't forget, he's fed your kids for one year. And also for Saka, hold your head high. You're only 19, you're playing for Arsenal, you have your career ahead of you. There's many more opportunities to win a trophy. Keep your head high and keep grinding. Unfortunately, it didn't come home, but it's gone to roll. So, I knew in my gut that England were not going to win it. England played the entire game in fear. 
apart from the first half, the first 15, 20 minutes, England were in fear. That goal was coming. Whether it was going to come in the 70th or the 90th, you can sense Italy were going to score. What a disappointment. You have to be humble in defeat. <laughs> Damaging taxis, jumping on buses, vandalizing, that's people's property, you know, taxi drivers, that's their earning, that's their bread and butter. You have English fans beating up the Italians. <laughs> no sportsmanship come on that's why we don't deserve to win and if we remind ourselves at the start of covid italy will hit the hardest so this is something nice for the italian nation as i said they deserve it and um, hopefully brings them some joy imagine if england won it would have been crazy it would have been crazy i don't think no one will be able to go work the next day we keep it moving it wasn't meant to be I want to go out i'm trying to get ready to go out i had a long day at work but my god london we have the most shittiest weather we're in july it's the 12th of july and it's raining this is the weather it's flooding london is flooding Can you actually believe that's in July? That's mid-July, supposed to be summer. That's why next month I'm getting out of here. I cannot, I cannot stay here with this weather during the summer. We've had a stressful year, hard year, the lockdown. I worked through the lockdown. It was a difficult time. I just need that little getaway. Wherever, I don't really mind. But as long as they don't change, because with this government, they're changing their restrictions on a daily basis. So hopefully nothing changes in that aspect. I'm looking to fly out and I'm going to take you guys with me. This was just a quick video on my reaction to, to England losing the Euro final. They just played scared and the best team won. Simple. And I don't blame the penalty takers, I blame Southgate because he chooses them. Saka, he's 19 and you're, you're putting the nation on his shoulder at 19. You can't train that in the training ground. It's the finals, it's the last kick of the game. 60,000 fans watching you. There's not many players in the world that thrive in, in that pressure, apart from probably Cristiano and Messi. They're the only ones that thrive of these type of pressure. It's not easy. But hopefully they do something in the World Cup. So they got to the semis last World Cup. They went to the finals there. If we're being optimistic, maybe we can win it. At this rate, I don't think England's ever gonna win a trophy. But yeah, that was just my little rant. I'm so disappointed. The game had everything. It was mixed emotions. You were happy, you were angry, you were annoyed. I'm quite surprised the TV wasn't broken. I don't think anyone should be getting racially abused for missing a pen. Guys, this was just a quick video. I'm gonna head out. By the weather, it looks like I'm just gonna stay indoors now. Or I'm just gonna wait for the rain to settle a bit. The depression is real, man. <laughs> Every single one of you guys, keep your head high, stay motivated, keep grafting, anything's possible if you put your mind to it. I just wanna thank every single one of you guys that's been supporting this channel. I know I've took a long break and not been consistent, but that's changing now. I'll be uploading a lot more frequently. Just before I go, man, I just saw something on Twitter with Jake Paul. The trolling is real, man. The trolling is real. I couldn't stop laughing. My man actually spent 100K on the Sleepy McGregor chain. Ah, uh, that's hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. Right, check it, my new $100,000 Nyquil McGregor, Sleepy McGregor chain. Thank you, sure. Benny the Jeweler. No Let's gotta, go. We got one characters each over here, of VVS diamonds with a hand-painted enamel of Sleepy McGregor. And to make it worse, he's actually gifting it to Dustin Poirier. What a troll, what a troll. So it's gonna be exciting, Tyrone Woodley versus Jake Paul. Someone needs to knock him out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please destroy the like button. Make sure you comment, subscribe. It's your boy Yaz, in and out. Peace, one love.
Thank you.